Welcome to the Daily Squeeze, take 166. De stress. Oh, to have more life. <laughs> Bud. Bud. So, I wanted to jump on and have a lo lovely, chill talk about stress and stuff, but because I came outside, Buddy went downstairs to his B A L L and um, likes to talk to me. Granted, I did just come home from the gym not too long ago, and I did play ball for a while. So, this little man will sit up here with me and just chill out, and I don't know if we can see, oh, I see the, the B A L L. But then where's the B-U-D-D-Y? I don't know. Anyways, we'll get back to de-stress. So, there's a lot of things that can help you de-stress. It's um, pretty much the same stuff that can help you lose weight. It's eating healthy. It's getting proper rest. Um, lots of water, hydration moving more. You want to move? Okay, I'll move. I'll move over here to this bed. <laughs> it's a voice mark and I use for, for more. Um, so cute. He is 11 months old tomorrow. Yeah. What else? There's the six of them. Eat healthier, move more, drink more water, stay hydrated. Proper rest, self-care. What am I missing? De-stress. I guess de-stress is one of them. Um, it, it's all like a circle of life, you know what I mean? When I talk about love buckets, it brings me back to kind of this whole help, happier, healthier you. So what love buckets do you need full? Like, is it creativity? Like, do you just need to do something creative? creative in order just to feel a bit more joy in your life and to get that side of the brain that you don't normally use working and feeling satisfied in that area is it education do you need to are you one of the you know you always have to learn something kind of people and you just haven't learned anything new lately kind of one of those I love to do to always be studying something I guess if not reading new excuse me reading new books but studying um, I've done a massage course, I've done you know, group fitness, I've done coaching, I've done a few different coaching courses, I've, you know, all of this stuff and it really makes me thrive as me. Um, is it something, you know, your love bucket, do you need to just some time by yourself? Do you need to slow down? Um, decluttering something like how, how's your environment around you? How are your relationships around you? How are your finances? How's your household as a whole? Um, you know, your family, your, it, it's everything. Um, stress can be quite overwhelming because it never is really just one, you know, it's never like, oh, I just need to wash that one cup in the kitchen and everything's fine. It's usually, you know, kind of a flow on effect. Um, I have spent some of the morning cleaning up the kitchen. Mark's been amazing lately doing dishes and stuff like that and I have kind of dropped the ball because I spent quite a bit of the weekend working on some some stuff. Um, I find the busier I am the more productive I am so I did quite a bit over the weekend I and I spent um, probably half the time that I was working working on my birthday bonanza stuff so that's all starting really soon so keep an eye out for that as well but I guess today after being at the gym I kind of blocked an hour out to go to the gym and I was there for about an hour and a half. My gym buddy was um, about a half hour late so I did stay a little longer but I just, I don't know, for me I love just hopping on the treadmill, putting the incline up really high and getting about up to that, you know, 5k an hour pace. Not too strenuous, I still build up a sweat, my heart rate still goes up but it works for me and it makes me feel really, really good. So I did that for about a half hour, <clears throat> so I got about uh, two and a half k's clocked in 
this morning and I, I don't know what it is about the incline but obviously it's kind of like the stair stepper which this gym that I'm going to doesn't have one so it just helps I don't know my legs just feel really good after it so going into this morning I was a bit stressed I got up I did some work and then I wanted to be at the gym by 7 30 so that all that all happened fine um, and it, it was really good because you know I got home I could play with the boys it's, it's sticky hot but it's not it's been raining so it's not as hot as it's been um, that's why I'm trying to sit outside and enjoy it. Like, it's so nice and green now because of the rain, but at the same time... Oh, oh there's some not-so-happy clouds, but mainly, um, hopefully Mark can get a full day of work, and I think he's going to get start to get a little restless. He can't just um, chill out in the house, which is fine. He does get stressed when it rains as well. And that's the other thing I, I thought... Uh, you know bring up today is everyone has everyone stresses about different things in their own way um, or the same things in their own way like I can tell if Mark is home for a few days and he's he's not working um, it's not that he doesn't know what to do with himself but he starts to stress because work work is a big part of who he is and well it's not who he is it's what he does but it keeps him it keeps him quite um, focused and it helps him accomplish something every day so it's really good for him where if he's not kind of accomplishing something every day he feels unfulfilled where me with the work I do I can pump out all this stuff and actually not finish any of it but still feel accomplished where his work being a roofer like you actually go to the job it's all in pieces and you leave and you can see what you've accomplished and it's actually a really good feeling I miss that about working with him. So I guess with the whole stress situation, like it is a part of life, but what can you do um, to help, I guess, de-stress or slow down even? That's another good way of putting it. Slowing down is just, um, a lot of people sometimes confuse busy with productive. Um, Ask yourself if you're being busy or if you're being productive. It's interesting. If you want to know kind of how to, after talking about the love buckets and everything, the free happier, healthier you strategy session, that's something that I definitely cover in that. And it's called the wheel of wellness for me. And it kind of looks at all the different areas of, in your life of you know, where you're at, what you're doing, and how you feel with, about them. You know, your relationships, your health, your um, activity, being in the kitchen, cooking for yourself. Um, hobbies, happiness, all that kind of stuff. And the activity kind of shows you what you do need to focus on or, or what you could focus more on or what's going really well. And you can kind of lay off a little bit even. Um, I like to think of my, like when I talk about all the love buckets and the wellness wheel, it's like a big, you know, 12 burner stove top in front of you and you have all different kinds of pans because not everything is equal in life. So you have all different types of pots and pans and you have different kind of liquid in each of them. So some's like big thick sauces, some water, some, you know, stuff that probably shouldn't be on in the pots or pans. Some probably needs more liquid. And it's trying to balance it all. So if you can get all 12 of those pots and pans with each different liquid in it, had a nice simmer where you can just kind of overlook each of them. You know what each one needs. And it's different types of love and different types of, um, some needs, you know, some you might need to focus on more. Others, you know, that can just sit there and simmer for a long, for a little while. And we'll need your focus only once or twice a week. See where I'm, like, I hope, I trust this makes sense because life is a balancing act and it's not balancing everything, you know, everything fits in this 50-50 bubble. It's just, it is integrating it all so that it works well. Like, one of the pots and pans might be enough 
quality time with your family and you might feel like you never get enough of that. But then you have to also have that talk with your family. You know, do you do game night? Do you do date night? Do you, you know, what will work for you guys? So everything isn't about just picking something, making it work and being not being frustrated if it doesn't work. It's about finding that right um, dance, I guess, in front of the, all those love buckets on the stovetop to see what will work and what does work. And it, it is, you know, a healthier, happier lifestyle because it takes time. It's a journey to get all those things like simmering away at their own speed and knowing what you need to do next and just being able to keep an eye on them and not like you know, have something massive spill over here and something get cold over here. It's, it's, it's a dance, you know what I mean? It's a journey. So I trust this makes sense and I hope, you know, you'll really think about when it comes to de-stressing, are you being busy or are you being productive? There's definitely two different, two different definitions there. Busy is, you know, when you get overwhelmed and you do so much, but you're not accomplishing much. We're being productive is that you're actually, you know what you want to get done and you're getting it done and you're getting it done in a way that you can still do the other things that matter to you and are just as important. So I'm going to leave you with that Tuesday wisdom. I'm going to probably go play some ball with Bud because now I have the, the guilts for coming out here. And um... I'm going to take some time. I'm going to look at my to-do list, get some stuff um, ticked off, and then just have a good day. So I hope you do the same. Have a great Tuesday, and I will be back to chat to you tomorrow. Bye.